No. I told him to do it. Okay, how to record? Is it recording? Uh-huh. Okay. Can I get a burger? Nope. Thank you. Rate it. <laughs> you don't want to hear my rate. In the dining hall. Um, over there. Okay. 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 the video anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, they took the table for me. No, no oh. Okay. Oh. 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 What do you think about the campus? Um, well, I haven't seen it so far. Yeah, this is my people's school. I've already committed. I've already committed to So you plan it? Do you plan to come here? Yeah. Oh wow. Where are they? Yeah. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you just get the cone? I saw it. It's real. Not too much.
Zero? Oh, that's Mount Doom. Never mind. <laughs> well, I was blind. I'm like, zero? This is good. I like this. <laughs> The ice cream's good. Bye guys. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. Come on, I had a... Mm -hmm. you want yeah, it moves by itself? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, it is. Triage? I think I'm fucking fat. Oh. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Too much info. Yeah, DJ Khaled over here. DJ Khaled. Please. Can we just. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Khaled. Baby, what's this? The pot. Oh, you thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me cross you real quick. <clears throat> I think they'll put this on my tab. I'm never coming back though. Feed the again. Back for the road. That's so cute. What's that gonna feed? Uh, post workout. I don't know. Post what is that? <laughs> I hope y'all got the money. <laughs> <laughs> we, I eat it raw. Right, put, it, put it back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Y'all got the money to pay for it? Yeah. Here we go. Since you can use your bucks here, they got school supplies. I'm gonna go. Uh, I think I'm gonna go like, to the cafeteria. it'll be more condensed but i really really need you guys in the back to keep up with us keep a good pace and not fall behind thank y'all very much uh, but we'll go ahead and introduce ourselves my name's allison um, i'm a sophomore here at mtsu and i'm from the small hometown of hohenwald tennessee about an hour and a half from here um, i'm a psychology major with minors in public health and mental health services I've also lived on campus for two years, so if you have any questions about psychology, living on campus, I could probably answer those for you. Um, and some of my involvements on campus include being a part of our Blue Elite Leadership Team, which is like a leadership team for the tour guides. Um, I am also a student orientation assistant, so if you decide to come to MTSU, I'll see you back in the summer. Um, and I'm also a member of Side Chire Honor Psychology Club. And my name is Bailey. I'm the other tour guide. I'm a senior here at MTSU, majoring in journalism. <coughs> and I have also lived on campus for the past two years. And I'm also, in addition to being a tour guide, I'm a member of Greek life. So if you're interested in return to your sorority life, let me know. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead and get the tour started. 
started doing that. Okay, so this building right over here behind us, <laughs> if everyone turns around, that building, that is our new science building. Uh, so can anybody guess how much that building costs? Five million. Fifty thousand more. You guys are guessing good though. One hundred and forty seven million dollars. What? That is the most expensive building on any college campus in the state of Tennessee. And that is our Southern Science building and it covers biology and chemistry classes. But about eighty percent of students do have a class in that building at some point during their time at MTSU. Um, also, if you notice, it is shaped like a guitar. If you see through the windows, the curvature, that's the body of the guitar. And then where the bricks are and the windows, that's supposed to be the strings. Um, so, really cool building there. Yeah, okay, and then behind us here, um, sorry, this tour route's a little bit different than we're used to, but behind us, this is the KUC, and so that is the building that y'all just now had lunch in, um, and so this is kind of a mixed bag of a lot of things. We have a post office in this building. We also have, of course, McCallie's Diner, where you where you all ate. Uh, there's also Dwight's Mini Mart, and uh, there's a Veteran Center, a Disability Center, and one of my favorite features is that we also have a Career Center, and so they can help you with writing your resume or mock interviews or anything like that, and there's also um, a Raider Closet, because every student at MTSU has the opportunity to get one free professional outfit for each school year, so whether that's a suit or a professional dress, anything like that that you would wear to a job or a job interview, uh, there's actually a selection of those that are available to every single student for free every school year. shut now because we had students putting firecrackers in there long after the building had closed. Uh, but the <laughs> floors in here go from messy to clean. So on our first floor you have the messier arts such as clay making, woodworking, sculpting. Um, on the second floor it gets a little cleaner with like sketching and painting, drawing, all that fun stuff. And then on the third floor it gets real messy or it's the cleanest floor with graphic and digital design. Um, over here we have our Weiser David Science Weiser Patton Strobel Lobby. It's a really long name, so we just call it the Old Science Building. But don't let the word old scare you because when we built the new one, we put around $22 million of renovations into this one. Um, so it's more like old shell new inside, but it's home for natural sciences, so things such as the geosciences, astronomy, um, physics, and forensic sciences, and it's also home to the Forensic Institute for Research and uh, fun fact, we also have a NASA scientist uh, who donated us an, obs an observatory and a uranodrome, and you guys can see those right over here as we look. <laughs> what did you say there is? Oh, uh, right. Observatory and a... I want to say orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> This is called Raider Walk, and so all of our, our entire football team will walk on Raider Walk leading up to um, going to the stadium before any of our home games as sort of good luck. And over there, if you look to your left, that is where um, the Uranodrome and Observatory are. Coming up, we're about to enter into Walnut Grove, and so that is where our tailgates take place. So we'll take the home. We're happening. I want to say congratulations, though. 
don't know about clapping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> just so we can try to hurry and let them get back to taking pictures, will you guys go ahead and get next to the horseshoe and we're going to get a group photo? Take part of the rides and all that fun stuff. Over here with all these trees. This is Walnut Grove where all these trees are, and so it was named that because. One of our MTSU janitors in the year 1917 actually went up to George Washington's estate, Mount Vernon, and borrowed some walnut trees and then came and scattered them all over MTSU, uh, or all over this field here. And so over 100 years later, that is now our walnut grove. Make so we're going to take a picture real quick, and then I'm going to tell you what's so special about this blue horseshoe view. So if anybody... What do you think of the inside of the It's made of The mint. It's like a Gotta eat that up. What happened? We also have a heads up. Uh, penny from 1911, which was the year that MTSU was founded, and that is buried underneath the horseshoe, and that was actually created by our uh, concrete students. Okay, so this ball, it's home to the College of Liberal Arts, is houses the majors of history, English, political science, um, and the interdisciplinary studies. But this building is pretty cool. They call it the Bermuda Square or the Freshman Maze um, because all these windows on the outside are in the classroom. So when you're in the hallway, it's just one big square. And there's four different staircases, so you could go up one, walk around for a little bit, go down another, and you're at a completely different part of the building. Okay, it's giving over um, So to make things a little easier, they try to color code it. So my advice to you is, like, if you go up the yellow steps every day, go back down the yellow steps. But all the hallways are color-coded these four colors to make things a little less confusing. confusing. Um, but at the end of the day, it's just a big square. So you just keep walking until you find your class. Um, and here's one of our pods. So pod stands for provisions on demand. And it's like a gas station without the gas. It's a little convenience store. We can get snacks and drinks and candy and all that good stuff between your classes. Do you guys have any questions? No. Okay. Oh, it's another tour going on. Okay, so here at MTSU we have several legends, and these are one of my favorite things about MTSU. I love the history behind them, and this building has one of my favorites. So this is our KOM, stands for Kirksey Old Main. And if you were to have a campus tour in the year 1911, it would start and finish right here, because this is the oldest and first building on campus. 
And so it now houses our computer science and mathematics departments. Um, but do you guys want to hear a little legend? Yes. Okay. So right over here, this was Rutledge Hall, which was our first girls' dorm. And then over there was our first boys' dorm, which was Jones Hall. And so we have an old legend that back then the boys and girls were not allowed to go into each other's dorms. So they would meet on these stairs to hang out. And so our legend goes that if you kiss someone on these stairs, that you'll stay together forever. Aww. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> the legend does not promise that you'll stay together happily, oh. but you'll stay together. <laughs> So if that's too much commitment for you, there is an identical pair of stairs over there that you can practice with. <laughs> um, we also do have an MT Mobile app, and so that's very used by our students. And it actually gives bus routes that um, all of our buses, if you see them, you've probably seen quite a few on campus. They're called our Raider Express buses. And so there's several bus stops, and you can actually track the buses through that app. They all have trackers on them so that you know exactly where your bus is and um, how far until it gets to you. And that was actually actually designed by our computer science students. Another thing about Jones Hall is that it's also home to our communication studies office and our education abroad department. So if you want to study abroad, we study abroad in over 65 different countries in six different continents. Um, and they give out so many scholarships that's a really cheap way to travel. I'm going to Austria this summer and I barely had to pay anything because of all the scholarships they give. <laughs> now we are in the heart of our athletics department here at MTSU. Um, we offer 17 Division One sports and are a member of Conference USA. Over here is our Johnny Red Floyd football stadium. It holds over 31,000 people. Um, and was modeled after the Cleveland Brown Stadium. Um, behind it, we have Murphy Center, or the Glass House, because all the walls are glass, and that's where our men and women's basketball teams play. Um, I also like to say it's the start and end of your college journey, because we have convocation and graduation there. Um, and it's also where we host our spring concert. So this year we got Khalid, uh, last year we had Phoebe Bridgers, before that we had Jack Harlow. Um, so they try to bring someone new out for the students every spring and it's a whole lot of fun. Um, then right over here we have our alumni memorial gym. That's home to the majors of exercise science and speech language pathology and audiology. Um, and like I said, also home to the women's volleyball team. Over here we have Saunders Fine, it's this whole strip we're about to walk down is called Music Row. Um, and Music Row, we call it that because of our pro close proximity to Nashville. Um, so we have Saunders Fine Arts and Wright Music Hall, and those are home to the departments of music education, music industry, and music performance. Uh, we're an all Steinway school, so that basically means it's the only brand of piano we'll buy, and they're pretty <laughs> fancy. And there's also a bunch of soundproof rooms in those buildings for our band. So our Band of the Blues, the largest organization on campus, has actually been clocked as loud as a jet engine on game days. Mm. Um, and then down at the end, we have Boutwell Dramatic Arts, which is home to our theater, dance, and foreign language department. We teach 11 different foreign languages, and we have Tucker Theater, where we do our um, theater and dance performances all throughout the year. Do you guys have any questions about athletics or music row? So one of them behind us right here, this is Corlu Hall. And so that is a freshman only dorm. And so the thing about it is that if you are a freshman, you do not have to live there. You do not have to. You don't even have to live on campus. You can live anywhere you want as a freshman on or off campus. However, Corlew and Cummings Hall are only available to freshmen. So I want to make that clear. It's basically just so that if you want to be in an area where there's a lot of other people your age, that is a really great option that is available for freshmen, but not required at all. 
Um, but in Corlew Hall, we do have the thing called the middle, and so that has Chick Fil A, which I know some of you went to, and then Twisted Taco and Subway. So it's one of the most popular dining options. Housing does have several different uh, options for housing. So we do have traditional housing, which is uh, where you know you have the traditional dorms, and then they all share a bathroom that has several, several, several different showers and bathroom you know all the things um, and then we also have quad style which is where you would have four different rooms so it all share a bathroom and then we have apartment style which works exactly like an apartment it's just on campus um, so those are our three different types of housing and they are all available to freshmen um, however if you want to get one of the quad or apartment style those do go first um, let's see oh and then there's also a study room laundry room and free there's free laundry by the way, really nice, um, and a kitchen on every floor in all of the housing options on campus. All right, um, so next I'm going to talk about this building right over here. This is our Casey Kennedy Nursing Building. Um, we are a pretty prestigious program. It's actually a separate application from NTSU, so if you want to do nursing, you have to get into the school and NTSU separately. Um, we are in the top five of the Southeast Division, and there's a lot of hands-on learning in here. We have um, a high-fidelity lab, a skills lab. We also have, um, it's home to our hardest working lady on campus, Big Bertha. She gives birth two to five times a day, five days a week. Um, for our nursing students to practice on. She's a robot, pretty cool. Um, but speaking of hardworking ladies on campus, right down from that, we have our Stark Agriculture Center, which is where our creamery is that our MTSU cows make. Um, so if you guys had McAllie's and got to try the chocolate milk, really good. Um, and that milk is actually processed right here on campus. So that's where the creamery is. The farm itself is about 10 miles away from campus at Guy James Farm. Um, and that's where they have their cows. We also have a horse farm. We have a plant and soil farm, a fermentation place, um, all that good stuff. And the majors in this building are agribusiness, uh, animal science, plant and soil science, and fermentation science. Do you guys have any questions about nursing or ag? Yeah. A gym? Yeah. We'll see that later. But yes, we do have a huge gym. Okay, cool. huh? Any other questions? Will we be able to see the dorms or not? No. Not in the special if, group if you come back for an individual tour, you can though. Okay. What'd you ask? Or no? <laughs> Anybody else have a question? Okay, we're going to move on. standing in the courtyard of our business and aerospace building. It's a very beautiful building, if you, if, as you can see. Um, but our business and aerospace programs are both top-notch programs. So our business program actually has several different options that are really cool for students, really good opportunities. Uh, there's a Dale Carnegie course, which is really sought after and very, very expensive outside of college. But if you take it here and if you're a business major, then that would actually be included in just the price of the class. Um, and then we also have a stocks course, which is really, really cool, where students can put real money that belongs to MTSU, MTSU's real actual money, into the real actual stock market. And then the good news is that if you completely crash and burn, 
you're not going to lose any money because it's MTSU's money. But if you make it big in the stock market, that all goes back into the program. But it gives a lot of really hands-on experience for our business students. Our aerospace program is also really amazing. Uh, we have 44 planes that are available for our students. Uh, and we also have uh, graduates in every major airline. And we also have partnerships with both Delta and Southwest that guarantee a job interview for all of our graduates for aerospace. Doesn't get guarantee the job, but you'll be prepared for the job and the job interview if you go here. Um, but yeah, so that's some of the things about our aerospace and business programs. Uh, they're really, really great, and they have a lot of different features and a lot of hands-on experience for the students. This building behind us here is our James E. Walker Library, named after the eighth president here at MTSU. Um, and there we have a fully functional Starbucks, meaning it's the only place on campus that accepts gift cards. Um, on our first floor, we also have our tutoring services, and we tutor in over 180 different subjects here at MTSU. Um, we have our IT desk, so if your computer breaks before a big exam, you can go there and they will let you rent one out for up to two weeks while you get yours fixed. And that's completely free as well. Um, we also have one of our largest computer lab on the library on the first floor. There's free printing on every floor, but the color is only on the first and second. Um, on our second floor, we have our maker space, which I say is a great place to get creative in the library. They have everything in there from Legos, friendship bracelet making, button making, and all that cool stuff, all the way up into 3D printing and woodworking. Um, so there's a lot of creative stuff you can do in there, so pretty cool. And then on the third floor, we have our University Writing Center, where if you have a hard time writing papers, they'll help you with that start to finish, no matter where you are in the paper. You don't even have to come to the library. You can submit it through a Dropbox or do online chatting, so that's pretty nice. Um, and then on our third and fourth floor, we have study rooms that you or your friend can rent out, so, or just check out. It's, again, completely free. Um, so, pretty nice. That's our library. Do you guys have any questions? Okay, we're going to go in this building, but we need you guys to be kind of quiet when we do, just because there are classes going on. <laughs> it's the library. So this will be our John Bragg building. This is for media and entertainment, but they do like press and slide. That child is a flout too. Okay, so this is our John Bragg building for media and entertainment. As a journalism major, a lot of my classes are in this building. Um, over here we have our fishbowl, which is our animation department. We've had several alumni uh, work on a lot of big projects like How to Train Your Dragon and also the video game Overwatch as a few examples. Um, but that's the fishbowl where all of the animation takes place. 
and then on the TV above you can sometimes see what they're working on. Over here we have our Center for Popular Music and this is for a lot of our musical students to be able to work on this. It's basically like a musical library or a musical museum and so we have everything from Beethoven to Beyonce and it's actually the third largest music archive in the entire world and so just to put that in perspective the first one is the Library of Congress and the second is the Smithsonian oh. and then ours is third. Um, so that's a really huge and big uh, cool feature that we have here. Uh, this building mainly houses our um, journalism <clears throat> and strategic media, media arts, and then our recording industry departments. And so uh, we also have several options for recording industry and for journalism in this building. So as journalism major, I work with some of these. We have Sidelines, which is our student-run print newspaper. You can get paid to write for Sidelines and you don't even have to be a journalism major to do it. So if you love to write and you love the news, that's a really great option. We also have our two radio stations. Um, one of them is student-led, and then one of them is NPR-affiliated. And then we also have a recording industry or recording label called Match Records. And so that's a really great option for anyone wanting to be a singer-songwriter. They can be signed to Match Records. And then lastly, we have Middle Tennessee News, which is our broadcasting TV news station. And so students can get on there and talk about sports, politics, pop culture, whatever they, whatever they want, really. There's even game shows on that channel. So that's a really exciting opportunity for our students. And that gives you real um, footage for, real, for uh, applying for a new station job. Does anyone have any questions about this building? Alrighty, let's keep on going. Center. Um, so in here, first off, we have our health services. This is just like your normal family's doctor's office. Um, sick visits are completely free for all students, but if you need an x-ray or some lab work sent off, it does cost some money, but they do it at a really, really low rate. Like the other day, I had to get a strep test, and my whole total for the visit was $8. Um, so very affordable for students. There's also a pharmacy in here where you can get um, off and on campus prescriptions and you can call them in and there's a drive-thru as well if you don't want to go in. 
Um, then we have something called MTOP, which stands for Middle Tennessee Outdoor Pursuits. And if you like any outdoorsy stuff, ending in ING, so camping, kayaking, skiing, fishing, any of that, they have rental equipment in here, and they also take trips to do those outdoorsy things that you can sign up for. Um, and in MTOP, there's also a bike shop, so if you need to rent out one for the semester, or if you just need to get yours fixed, you can go there and do that. Um, then you move on to our recreational side of the gym. We have six basketball courts that also turn into volleyball courts. Uh, we have six pickleball slash racquetball courts. We have an indoor track, an indoor soccer arena, as well as an indoor and an outdoor pool. The indoor pool has a swirly slide. Um, and then we also have a huge weight room, a cardio room, a functional fitness room. Um, an aerobics room where you can take free yoga and dance classes and we offer 30 to 40 just exercise classes per week and those are again completely free for students um, you don't need a membership for the gym you get in completely free with your blue ID and then we also do intramural and club sports uh, so if you're not quite ready to go D1 but you still want to have fun playing sports you can do intramural or club <laughs> Do you guys have any questions about the gym? Before we go in, uh, this is our student services and admissions center. If you want to talk to an admissions counselor, those are on the first floor in our admissions office. Um, on our first floor is also our blue ID office where you get your student ID. And then on the second floor, we have something called MT One Stop, where you can go to ask any questions about scholarships, financial aid, billing, payment, all that good stuff. Um, but lastly, if any of you want to talk to like the head of your department of whatever you want to major in, you can go to the front desk when we get back and they can get that contact information for you. Private. Or double. So those are apartments? Yeah, those are apartments and then there are also some over there. So you can stay in an apartment by yourself? Yes. Because I got a kitchen and a stove and everything? Yep. Mm -hmm. A fridge. You got a kitchen, a living room. It's just like a grass so y'all can just come around. All right. <laughs> Come on, Windows. 